Warning. Due to multiple requests and people coming up to me and constantly stating so, in order to make my videos easier to watch, I'm shortening the length of my videos to see how well this plan works. Happy now? This is for the people. By the people. You're the people. I'm the people. Eagle! I should wrap this. We the people! The reveal? Heck with it! I'm just gonna live life! Just do it! Alright, fine, let's do this. Really? Alright, yo guys, what's up? Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the new intro. I'm trying to work on it a bit, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, so, yo, uh, this time I got my little brother here, Andres. Who's uh, good, fam? <laughs> yeah, so uh, he's here helping me with this vlog. So, uh, yeah, so Steven Universe, Episode 2, uh, The Laser Light Cannons. Right? Yeah, that's the name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> uh, yeah, so interesting episode. Pretty much, we get Steven and Amethyst, they're buying fry bits, and then suddenly this eyeball shows up uh, in the sky. Uh, they... Uh, Steven and the gems, they try destroying it, uh, and it doesn't work, so Steven believes that because, um, there's this ancient weapon that his mom used to use, uh, he, he thinks that his dad has it, so he goes and checks, they, uh, go to the storage where, um, Steven's dad has it, and they find it, they bring it to the beach, and you finally, uh, they end up destroying it. With uh, this code that I'll tell you guys about. Um, so, yeah, what's your opinion? Well, like... A uh, quick thing, actually, is that uh, he's... You know, I'm, he's kind of new to the whole series, so you you didn't watch a lot of episodes like me and my friends did, did you? Mm -hmm. No? No? So, yeah, it's like he, he's still getting into the show, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, it was... It was okay. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Like, mm, was it the best? Because I've seen better Steven Universe episodes than that. Like, I mean, come on. Most of the time, the the gems were just, like, trying to trying to throw her to the freaking eyeball, and that's it. You gotta admit, that was, that's actually one of my favorite jokes about this episode, right? Oh, <laughs> it's like, <gosh. laughs> pretty, okay, so pretty much, um, what happened was, uh, okay, so when they're trying to destroy the eyeball thing in the sky... Uh, Garnet, the, um, she throws Amethyst into <laughs> the air, um, into the eyeball, and it's like, Whoa! all epic. She goes through it, and then, <laughs> it falls inside the freaking ocean. How many times? They do that, like, so many times throughout that episode. It was they, funny. they did it, like, basically 98%. Like. <laughs> Of the whole freaking episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, you got a point there. It's like, I think it's because it's the second episode of the series, it's kind of like not one of the stronger ones. Yeah, that I would guess. Seen, uh, uh, we're not spoiling anything, but yeah, uh, I, I, I do agree. It's not it's not exactly one of the stronger episodes. Um, yeah, so pretty much um, going on with it, uh, back to how they destroy the eyeballs. So pretty much, yeah, they get the ancient weapon, the laser light cannon that apparently belonged to Steven's mom, uh, Rose Quartz. Um, who, uh, we find out that apparently, um, how the mythos of this universe works is that she died to give birth to Steven. I don't know how that 
or I mean, <laughs> I guess crystal gems they have to die to give birth. Nah, I think just something just bad happened. Yeah. Like, oh no, cause, cause remember Steven has her gem. Maybe like the gem got like taken out maybe, or something, and maybe. they have to give it to Steven or something. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's because she. You never mentioned that. They, I don't think they mentioned that. No, not throughout the series. Uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's part human, half, half gem. So maybe that's a thing. Maybe that has something to do with it. The fact that it's a. Oh, human, I guess. I don't know. Like maybe her, like the way, she she gives birth is a different way, and like she couldn't. Since she couldn't do it the normal way that normal gems would give birth, like if, it was different because it was half human. We're just we're just doing yes. theories right now. We're just guessing on <laughs> this right now. Yeah, we we have no idea, but <laughs> I I don't know. So um, yeah one one thing that I have to say about this episode um is that um. Yeah, like, the jokes were funny, the whole thing about the fry bits and the throwing amethyst to there. Um, I, I noticed about this series the first time is that um, it's kind of similar to Adventure Time in a sense where it's like, you don't really know what's really going on, like, when you start the show. Like, you kind of just, like, go into it. Like, and then it's, like, later in the series when you start, when they start building a plot. Um... Yeah, so sometimes it's a hit and miss kind of thing where it's like, you know, some shows, I'm not going to name any names, but uh, some shows start off like that and they just kind of like, eh. uh, while other shows it's like, you know, it, when they do it, it's okay. It's like, and this this show along with uh, Gravity Falls and Adventure Time, those are like three shows that work uh, with that, um, which is good. Um uh, so, yeah, uh, another thing is um, how they activate the light cannon. I felt that was really touching because uh, it was a word that the father uses, uh, Greg, his name, right? Yeah, Greg. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, Greg, who, um, yeah, obviously Steven's dad. Uh, apparently, this word, this motto that he always says, um, if every pork chop was perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. I wonder how we got that one. Right? Yeah, I can't, I can't even I, get I, it. I, I, uh, but it's nice, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I felt it was touching. The fact that it's like, yeah, she, used... she used that when it was his words. So, like, I don't know if she reminded, it reminded her of, of him whenever him. she needed to use that. Like, yeah, that, that was sweet. Especially that one part where it's like, we see it destroy the eyeball and then he's like tearing up. When he realizes, oh, she used that word for him. And that was yeah. so sweet. That was so cute. Like, yeah, she's out of me again. Yeah. yeah, that was sweet. Um, another thing is um, the difference in the character designs. You notice how, like, not one person in the show looks like another person? Like in other cartoon shows? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah? Like, um, how, um, pretty much... That's something I really like about the show, as well as uh, Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, and all this stuff. I mean, well, maybe not Adventure Time, because there are some similar characters, but um, I like it how every character, whether personality or design, they're all different. So I really like that. And I just hear my dog outside. Let me get that. <laughs> really, bro? Nay, nay. Now watch me whip. Show business, people. <laughs> All right, so pretty much, um, yeah. So that's something I really like about the design. <laughs> that uh, pretty much, uh, mm -hmm. you could tell that there's a difference in these um, in these characters. Like um, we have Steven, who is the typical chubby guy. Uh, oh, this is so cute. We also have um, Amethyst, who's like the the short but tough lady girl thing, like tomboyish in a yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, she's so cool. Yeah. She's my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No, and then we have a Pearl who um, we have Pearl, 
who's you know the stiff one and it's not like the skinny the skinny pale but uh pale one who's like all wisdom and stuff and then we have garnet the cool the cool one with the right. afro yeah. Like, yeah it's like that's something i really Fucking like about the show mm, that's something i really love about the show the fact that it's like they're all different and it's yeah. like at, when you progress more through the show you're gonna see that it's like there's more differentiations throughout the series even people who are related you people who are related to the show they actually look alike and that's another thing they they in a show so fantasy based and so sci-fi fantasy kind of sense it, there's they there's a form of realism where it's like not everyone looks the same but at the same time those who should look similar are similar like steven has that whole chubbiness from his dad and also you know obviously eating and then later on you're gonna see other characters who are related that they you see the similarities and that's something i really like Watch me, baby. Watch me, baby. you better not get us copyrighted Watch me, baby. all right oh, so then God. um and okay. yeah one other thing is um you notice the background like you, you have you noticed like the coloring they use in the show it's kind of different from most from other animated shows that we've seen, right? It's more like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know the word of it. Like you know how whenever we see an animated show, like a cartoon, it's it it looks cartoonish, right? Like Family Guy or The Simpsons or I guess yeah. Yeah, but then it's like um the the background in this, it's it's um you kind of tell it's I'm not saying it's hand drawn. Uh, but it also doesn't look very animated. It doesn't look digital. It seems more more watercolored in a sense, don't you think? Like, well, he doesn't know much about the arts, artistic styles of things, but yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like uh, I, I don't know the the way they do it, the shading, the the animation and and all. It, it seems like so natural something so different from other shows because we see shows like family guy or 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 anime like pokemon or naruto or even uh, gravity falls and stuff uh and we see that it's like with uh shows like gravity fall they seem computer generated in in a sense like animated through a computer then we see family guy that seems like it's in the in the first uh, few seasons, it's all hand drawn and anime. They kind of give it that flow. That's un that's something that I see in Steven Universe. It has a bit of an anime uh, anime flow where it's like it's a good combination between um, handwritten and computer generation. But that's my opinion of it. Uh, Honestly, in my opinion. I'm gonna sound boring. I see exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah. So um yeah, pretty much that's what we think. Um anything else you want to say about this? Um Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah.